What's poppin' everybody? It's Michael Alder here from CarpetExpertBlueprint.com and in this video we are covering the top questions that came in all about carpet tiles. So anything and everything related to carpet tiles, we ran a poll. There's about 100 questions that came in so we'll probably break this into a four-part video series. But let's dive right into this and cover all the topics related to carpet tiles. So first things first, can carpet tiles be installed over padding? No. I think there would be too much give to that. Actually, we'll do a video on that as well. I think that'd be a great video topic, actually installing it over padding to show. But carpet tiles either have a rubber backing to it or comes equipped with a padding already in most cases. So you would not install it over top of traditional carpet padding because there would be too much give. The seams wouldn't line up right. Um, obviously, all my opinion at the moment, but we're going to put that to the test and uh, dive right into that one. That'd be a great video. Next. Uh, can carpet tiles be steam cleaned? Absolutely they can. And the big perk to carpet tiles, if for some reason they cannot be steam cleaned, you just pop out the really damaged ones, the really stained ones, and replace them with another one. Super huge perk to carpet tiles. Um, can carpet tiles be installed over carpet? No, I think you would get the same effect. Um, with a commercial carpet, you may be able to pull it off. I don't recommend it whatsoever, and we may do a video on that as well. Um, but yeah, can carpet tiles be installed over carpet? I'm going to say no. Get that old carpet out of there and start with a nice fresh floor or subfloor. Um, can carpet tiles be installed on stairs? I would recommend not doing that. I think it would be a pain in the butt. I personally have never done it. What we always do is get a matching or an offset commercial carpet, traditional commercial carpet and we'll do that on the staircases things like that just because carpet tile is so beefy it's hard to get it to form to a stair plus doing all the seams on the stairs that would be a hot mess I mean I guess you could do the tops the risers and do a uh, stair metal on it but I've never done it like that I would always just recommend doing a uh, offset commercial carpet something that contrasts nicely with it and go about it that way uh, let's see here can carpet tiles be installed over laminate floor? I mean, laminate floor is going to move. It's a floating floor, but it would be a solid subfloor. The only downside, I would say go for it. Here's the full disclaimer, though. If any mo moisture gets onto that laminate floor, it would buckle, and then your carpet tiles would buckle. Plus, the laminate floor is actually super easy to pop out. So, you know, but if you want to be creative and try it, go for it. If you got the money to spend on it, if it goes bad, just keep in mind if it gets wet or uh, anything like that, it'll buckle as well. So that would be a huge downside to it. Can carpet tiles get wet? Yes, they could get wet. Um, like anything else, you want to put some fans on it, get an extractor in there to get any excess moisture off of them, but it will not destroy them if they get wet. Um, let's see here. Can carpet tiles go? We already covered that one. That came in a few times. That's weird. Um, can carpet tiles be reused? Yeah, but like anything, it's going to show worn areas if it's been worn down a long time. But when it's properly installed, that's a huge upside to carpet tiles. You could actually pop them back out and then reinstall them or replace them with better ones. So yeah, they technically could be reinstalled. Um, can carpet tiles be cut? Yeah, that's any uh, utility knife, carpet knife. No problem cutting them. We have countless videos on that all over YouTube, actually. I'm sure people have videos showing how to cut carpet tiles, so that's easy. No big deal. Um, can carpet tiles be used outdoors? I've never done this, and I don't necessarily recommend it. I don't think they're built for the elements. I think you can do an outdoor covered porch um, where it's still exposed to some element, elements, but not direct in it. But, um, yeah. I wouldn't do just a wide open porch or patio or walkway, anything like that. They would definitely get beat up, especially depending upon what part of the country you live in, how badly the elements could destroy them. Like Midwest winters would kill it, you know? Um, can carpet tiles be removed? Yep, we covered that. Can carpet tiles be installed over plywood? Absolutely. Plywood floor is a fine subfloor to install over top of. You would want to feather out any seams in the plywood just so it wouldn't show through the carpet tiles, but absolutely it could be installed over plywood. Uh, can carpet tiles be installed without adhesive? Yes, technically it can be done without adhesive, but go ahead and use the adhesive just because you run the risk of them moving. If you clean them with a shop vac, it could pe peel them up, drag uh, furniture across it, it could catch a corner and start popping them up. So you could get some headaches if you don't use adhesive, but yeah, if you wanted to drop them down, they are kind of heavy and they would uh, support the uh, weight. So can carpet tiles look good? Yeah, they look great. It's like anything, though. If you buy a cheap carpet tile, it might look cheap and crappy. If you buy a great carpet tile, it's going to look amazing. That's for 
furniture, carpet, that's anything out there. So yeah, carpet tiles do look amazing, especially when you get a cool pattern or a quality product. Um, can carpet tiles be installed on concrete? For sure, without a doubt. And uh, the only things to keep in mind when installing over concrete we just did a big job where the concrete subfloor was horrific. So we had to skim out all the floors almost three times to get them to a good enough quality that we could uh, install the carpet tile so you wouldn't see all the defects and imperfections in the concrete subfloor. But yeah, absolutely, you can install it on concrete. Can carpet tile, no, I already covered that one. A lot of doubles and triples coming on this. How are carpet tiles made? I have no clue how carpet tiles are made. That's a whole nother series there. Um, how to install carpet tiles, countless videos on the channel about that. In a, in a nutshell here, you're gonna spread the releasable adhesive very thin all over your subfloor, get a fan on it, you wanna wait till it dries clear, and then you start setting. If you set it in the adhesive while it's wet, a couple things can happen. One, it could sneak through the seams of the carpet tiles if you lay it too thick, and it'll create a huge mess of your carpet tiles. Two, if you ever have to pop them out and you set it wet, they don't pop out easily. It's an absolute nightmare getting them out. So. Spread the adhesive, put some fans on it, wait for the adhesive to go clear, drop your tiles in, you're good to go. Um, we'll cover a couple more here and then we'll jump into another series. Uh, how many carpet tiles in a box? It varies per product. Typically five to eight square yards per box though has been my experience and they're usually in most cases two by two. Um, how to glue carpet tiles, just went over that. How to carpet tile stairs, I gave you kind of a rough idea on that already. Just, you know, I would do the tops, do the risers, and then put a transition on the face of it there. But really, I would try to avoid that altogether. Let's get a, give me a good one here. So many of these are repeats, so. Uh, what size are carpet tiles? Typically two by two. You also see them in uh, 18 inches each way. You could get them in four by fours even, which is absolutely insane. I've never worked with them that big, but I do know they make them that big. Um, what are the best carpet tiles for bedrooms? Really, I wouldn't even do carpet tile in a bedroom um, for a number of reasons. It's more of a commercial based product. And uh, what's good about it you know, it's good for high traffic areas. It's really not gonna bring comfort to the world. In your bedroom, you want something comfortable. So you'd almost be better off doing a midline uh, plush carpet versus a carpet towel. Even though the carpet towel would last longer, who wants to make that investment and have something uncomfortable in your bedroom? Way too commercial looking. I wouldn't like it. I'd go for comfort even at a huge discount. Here's a good one. What's the price of carpet tiles? Carpet tiles are expensive. Even cheap carpet tiles are expensive. So a get-in product uh, could start product only, you know, 20 plus dollars per yard and upwards of $60 a yard for some really nice stuff. So why would you expend so much more? Well, with on the upside of it with the commercial, um, you don't have to worry about seams running. Even sealed seams over time could come apart, get frayed, get runners. Carpet tiles, you're not gonna run into that. If you do get damaged carpet tiles, you could pop them out and replace them. So the investment, as long as it fits the budget of the project, is absolutely worth it to drop the extra money on carpet tiles. And I think that's where I'm gonna wrap this one up. There's, you know, like I said, about 100 questions that came in. A lot of them are doubles and triples, but we'll create a couple other videos going even deeper. If you have any questions about carpet tiles, comment below. I will add them to the next video. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll see you on the next one.